Let's learn how to use the pen and line tools to draw a leaf, like this one. Start by selecting the pen tool in the toolbar. The pen tool will let us draw an enclosed shape that will evolve into our leaf. If you click and drag with the pen tool, the drag pulls out the control handles for each vector point. Create the first three vector points this way, and then double click and drag to create the fourth and final vector point to close the shape. Activate the Point Editor tool and experiment with option dragging individual control handles to widen or tighten a curve, especially for the endpoints of the leaf. After a little work, the outline for your leaf can look something like this. Before we start drawing the veins inside the leaf shape, make sure all of the shape's magnets are turned off. Select the leaf shape and then, from the Edit menu, choose Magnets, Positions, No Magnets. If you don't do this first, the lines you'll draw for the veins will try to attach themselves to the magnet points within the leaf. Then lock the leaf layer in place. Create a new layer so you can draw the leaf veins within the leaf shape without accidentally modifying or adding points to that shape. Start by double clicking the line tool to keep it active and then in the line inspector, set the line type to Bezier. Then, draw a line from the tip of the leaf to its stem, click-dragging along the way to control the curve around each vector point. Just like the shape you drew with the pen tool, to end a line you'll need to double-click and drag. Notice how each of the line's vector points are also magnets. This makes it easy for you to attach the other vein lines to the path you just drew. Draw the remaining veins using the click and drag method, attaching the end of each line to the magnets along the way. When you end on a magnet though, a single click will end the line and connect it. When you've finished drawing the veins, unlock the layer that the leaf shape is on. Select the outline of the leaf and choose Edit Magnets Positions and set it so there are magnets at each vertex, that is, each vector point. This makes it so that each end of the primary vein can be aligned precisely with the points on the edge of the leaf. Let's spruce things up a bit and use the Selection tab in the sidebar to select all of the veins in the drawing. Use the Stroke Inspector to increase the point size of the veins, making them a little thicker. In the Stroke Inspector, click the color well to open the colors palette. Use the Opacity slider to change the opacity of the veins to 50%. With the veins styled, select the leaf shape and change its stroke to 3 points. In the Fill Inspector, set the fill type to Double Linear Gradient. Apply a light green color for the left and right color wells, and then set a darker green shade for the middle color well. Adjust the gradient angle wheel to align the center gradient with the leaf, then use the gradient midpoint slider to adjust the position of the middle color so it lines up nicely with the leaf's center line. Use the shadow inspector to apply a shadow below layer to the leaf. Set the shadow fuzziness to five points and the horizontal and vertical offsets to five pixels each. And for a final bit of flourish, Select all of the objects by pressing Command-A, and then go to the Arrange menu and select Group to group them together. Finally, press and hold the Command key while hovering over one of the bounding box's corners, then click and drag on the corner point to rotate the leaf. Download your free trial version of OmniGraffle today and get drawing. Learn more at OmniGraffle.com.